Hi everyone, I'm John, and welcome back to Puzzle Me This. This is part 16, so it is the 15th month update on the 42,000 piece around the world jigsaw puzzle. That camera angle seemed to work pretty good last month, so I have it up real high again. Last month, I showed you the 14 mountains that it has listed in the book. And it says that Mount Kilimanjaro is in Kenya. And Susan Robino 6739 she left a comment and said that Mount Kilimanjaro is on the border, close to the border of Kenya, but it is actually in Tanzania. And I looked it up, and she's right. So thanks for catching that. Also, last month, a few relatives came to help on the puzzle. So, I want to introduce you to them now. Here's some people that I want to introduce to you that are up working on the puzzle. This is Streeter. And this is Jack over here. Hello. <laughs> and Jack, he would pick up a piece... And then look through the posters and then walk over to the puzzle and put the piece in. And the first time he did that, we all laughed. But he just kept doing it. And while they were here, they got a, a, good, a good many pieces in. So hopefully they can come back again and spend some more time working on the puzzle. Every time I tell you my total hours that we've spent on the puzzle, I think of Crazy Puzzle Chick. Now, I have her linked down in the description. I think she's right at the very bottom of my description, if you want to check her out. She's working on the 60,000-piece Dowdle puzzle, and she mixed 57,000 of those 60,000 pieces. And she has all kinds of statistics. How many pieces she put in this month, how many total pieces she's put in, uh, the percentage of the puzzle she has complete, a, a whole bunch of statistics. And I wish I had them to give you, but we didn't keep track of all that stuff from the beginning. So all I have to tell you is how many total hours we've spent on the puzzle so far. And as of this month, we are at 2,790.5 hours. So 2,790 hours of total time spent on the puzzle so far. So I have just a couple things for the cardboard part to show you, and then we'll get to the Part of what's on the table. Okay, I don't have too much to show you this month as far as cardboards again. They're all pretty much the same. I did go through and organize a couple of the categories. You can see the yellows. I have one less cardboard of yellows and not too many pieces on the cardboard on top. And some of the ones on the end there that are pieces we've been picking out that we think we recognize. And that was getting to be a pretty big pile that we couldn't find where they went. So if you'll notice, there are quite a few more little cardboards on the empty stack. We had talked... Oh, a few months ago about the patterns of the pieces. And we had talked about the the little pad the little tabs and holes with the bigger pieces going up and down. They go up and down every thirty seven pieces. And there's two rows that go across. Actually four rows, two at 27 
pieces down and two at 27 pieces up. And they have the little tabs and little holes. And mom has been wanting to pick them out for quite a while now. And I was kind of hesitant to do it just because of the cardboards we had sitting over there on the pile of stuff that we recognized. And then it just sat there. And say you were doing a old building, you would have to look through the old building cardboards and all of those cardboards because it could have been on there someplace, the, the pieces that, that we were looking for. So I was kind of hesitant to do it, but it seemed like a good idea. So we did this month, we went through, mom did some and I did some, we went through all the cardboards and we picked out all the pieces that have the little tabs. Like, like this one has a little hole, this one has a little tab, little tab, and they fit together. If you go down 27 pieces and then come up 27 pieces. And these are the ones that go up and down. A lot of them are bigger pieces and they'll have a little hole or a little tab. And mom and dad have a string. I don't know if you can see it there or not. They have a string with a weight on it down here. It has a bolt on it. And it's a string that runs the whole length of the table. And what they'll do is you can see these are the little holes and little tabs. It's hard to see in, in, a, in, in a, a rougher pattern. But the little tabs and little holes run all the way down through. And then they'll do it down here too. And right here. Right here is the little tabs and little holes. And uh, so they have their string there. And they go up and down through there. And then they'll move the string over. So that they can easily find where that row is. And they go through with the cardboards and, and try to put those pieces in. And here's the shorter, the shorter string hanging over here that they hang from this end of the table over to that end to find the breaks in, in, in the sections right here. And you'll notice that there's a lot of green that runs up and down. And not so many greens that run across. And the reason for that is, is Adrian Chesterman, when he drew this, he tried to, I think, divide the bags up a little bit. And that way, not as many things were overlapping. So that you wouldn't build one bag and do half a building and then another bag with half a building on it you know, half of the same building. And if you'll notice, right on this side of the castle here, this is your row right here of little little tabs. And it comes all the way down to here. And if you look on the poster, right beside the castle here, you can tell it goes down through the sky in this mountain and then you have green all the way down to pretty much the bottom of the puzzle almost. So he divided that up with that green. And that's where that, that divide is between those two bags. And he still has some stuff that overlaps just so that it looks like a continuous image. And it is. But where he could... He divided with green, a bush or trees or something, you know, like he did here, all the way down through, or most of the way. And that's why there's so many green of the up and down pieces and not so many greens of 
the going across pieces. And these are some of the ones I was talking about that we think we recognize and then can't find pieces for. We do have some of them together and some don't have many pieces on like that cardboard doesn't. This cardboard has a lot. We piled a lot on there, but it's kind of in groups of what we had together. And uh, so it's nice to have fewer cardboards of them now to look through. And the blues. I had two blue cardboards, and I put all them on one. So I did eliminate a blue cardboard. So, okay, let me take the cardboards and all off the table and show you what we've done this month. Okay, I have the cardboards and all off the table. And I know I say it every month, but we do get a lot of pieces in just walking around and putting random pieces in a lot of places. So hopefully we'll be able to tell at the end of the video that we've made some progress and things are more filled in. So we'll start with the Washington Monument. And if you remember, in previous videos, there was always a space down the middle that both sides of this wasn't connected. And now there's some, some connections there. And if you look here, this is an example of the little tabs and little holes running across. And that helped get those four pieces in. And Mount Rushmore. I spent a lot of time this month on Mount Rushmore. And I wouldn't have thought that the shadows would be a blue or a brownish yellow or even a little bit of a purple. And people that are more experienced with puzzles probably know how to look at colors and see the actual color. I look at it and see a shadow of a rock. And I think, well, it should just be gray. But I'm not actually looking at the color it is. Even when I was doing the buildings, I had the sunny side of this building and the shadow side picked out as two separate buildings because I didn't think that a shadow would be this color. And somebody that's more experienced with puzzles could probably tell the difference and realize that that's going to be the other half. But I had to look through the blue cardboards and the yellow and even the purple and the brown sometimes to try to find these pieces. And... It's not all there yet, and I do have some pieces on the white cardboards that I'm sure go in there, but I can't get them to fit yet. So I spent a lot of time doing that. You'll remember that was a pretty big hole last time. And I did get, I did get this connected just up here going over to the US 101 sign and the Liberty Bell we got connected to the jukebox now so it's always fun trying to get things connected now this bridge I don't think I mentioned it before it's the Majorie Brug in Amsterdam and it has Stonehenge behind it and Cousin Vicky got a lot of this scooter done. And she actually found a lot of those pieces on the red cardboard. And we were always looking on the orange or yellowish cardboards. But that's not where they were. Now, the book just says Scooter Italy. But I think it's a Vespa. So I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know if it's not. And the... Uh, Coliseum. 
We don't have much of it yet. Just a couple little pattern pieces started there. That's a big empty space yet that we need to fill. And this, this is the Archangel Cathedral in Moscow. Now this was a pretty big area. It goes all the way over and across to here. And I don't have any of the golden domes yet or a lot of the white solid white building parts but I do have a lot of the the patterns that go across and this is the elephant tusk archway it is in Bulawayo Zimbabwe and I'm slowly finding some pieces of that. And this area here, there's going to be two, two statues in here that are sand colored. And then the rainbow comes down through with a little bit of rainforest. And then there is a statue of a man here. And then animals all around so that's why that's a big area there that's not got anything in. And this, we're slowly getting this. Jake was working on this. And we do have a little bit of the Buddha's face there. This is Buddha. Shav, Shar Vast Uttar Pradesh in India is where that's at. And this building here, I don't know if I mentioned that before either. That's the Na National Grand Theater of China in Beijing. And a lot of this, I think, is still the same. We did add a lot of pieces to different things. And this, now I mentioned that last month. Never mind. And uh, so... Oh, this is a, I, I don't have too much of it yet. I don't know if you can see it or not. That's a dingo. And that's all it says. Maybe I'll wait and show you that next time because there isn't all of it there yet. But that's, it just says dingo in the book. So I guess you're supposed to know that that's from Australia. And uh, so I try to keep these videos about 20 minutes. I'm afraid any longer than that, and you all will fall asleep on me. So, if it's not any longer than 20 minutes, when I edit it, I'll show you the last three times that we walked down through. If it's longer than 20 minutes, then I'll just show you the last two times. But there won't be any sound for the first two or three, and then... Then we'll come back and we'll walk down through it this time.
Okay. Now we'll do it this month. And hopefully we'll see some progress. There's still some empty spaces, but I think things are getting filled in a little better. We do have some pieces just sitting on the table that we think are where they will go. Sometimes mom goes through and cleans a lot of them off just so we can tell what's done and what isn't. So it might look a little more done now than, than it was, but I think it is at least two-thirds done. I don't think it's three quarters done yet, but I think it is two thirds. If right here is the eight foot break right up through here. So if everything on that side put together was over here, that would be two thirds done. And I think it, I think that would work. I think it's at least two thirds done. So, I think we're, we're making progress. So, okay, that's all for this month. And I really do want to thank everyone so much for taking the time to watch. And until next time, go put your puzzle together.